Now, this tutorial that we're going to be showing you right now is a way for you to forward your UCI email to another account. Something like Gmail, Yahoo, or Hotmail. And you might be wondering why you want to do that. Well, let's quickly show you that. So here's the login system for the webmail account for UCI. You're probably all very familiar with it. And it'll look something like this. Now, something you'll notice is the last time I got an email was in 2006. The last time I checked, it's 2009. So it's been quite a few years since the last time I actually used the webmail account interface. Now, why is it that I want to forward my email somewhere else? One, there is very poor, there's a very poor storage system. You don't really get a lot of space. 250 megabytes fills up very, very fast, especially if you're sending pictures or maybe videos or lots of documents. And in a given four, four year period, you're going to be finding yourself deleting emails on the fly all the time, and it can be quite annoying. In addition, the search interface isn't all too fantastic. If you want to try and find email, it might not be as effective as other search engines out there are like. The system is very archaic. It, it seems very simplistic, which is really nice in that sense, but it seems to be missing a lot of features that you might expect in commercial web, uh, web email services. And also, email conversations aren't necess necessarily threaded. So if you're sending an email to a friend and they send you an email back in, in reply and you return that back and forth, you won't get a single email like you would get in Gmail, I believe. I, I'm not exactly sure, but um, you won't have something like that to keep everything threaded and organized. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we want to find out how to forward email. Now I'm not going to show you step by step how to do that. I'm going to find a way, I'm going to find a tutorial online to help you. So we're going to go, we're going to go to the UCI website and we're going to type in email forwarding and we're going to click full and click go and I'll talk about the search feature more in another tutorial but we'll talk about that obviously later now go through all the links and you'll find something that's called email delivery point now this will help you we'll give you a tutorial about the about forwarding your email that we want to do right now so first off figure out which email address do you want to send it to? Do you want to send it to Gmail? Do you want to send it to Yahoo? Do you want to send it to Hotmail? In my case, I like to use Gmail, so I'm going to send it to Gmail. So here's the tutorial. It says click, it says decide which Gmail or email you want to send it to. Click the PH update link. Uh, sign in, as they show here. You'll be, you'll see this box there click other, submit your email address, and click submit change request. And it's as easy as that. Now, don't expect all your UCI email to be completely forwarded to your new account at an instant. It usually takes a few hours to a day to actually start seeing those changes. Now, once you've done that, you might be thinking, great, I'm done. I have all my email and it will be sent to my Gmail account. Now, here's the caveat. If I click Compose Mail, for you in this case, your only option will be able to send, you'll only be able to send email using this Gmail account. Now what if you were sending emails to a professor at uci.edu and they're only used to seeing uci.edu accounts and not necessarily a Gmail account? What will happen is you might cause confusion and your professor might think your email is just junk mail and they'll just throw it away. So you want to make sure that your uci.edu extension is preserved so that you can still send emails using your uci.edu um, email account so that they will see that it's being sent from there and when in reality it's being sent through Gmail. So how do we do this? If you created a Gmail account in the past couple of years, this, this, these settings will look very will look almost similar to yours. If you create an account when Gmail first started, it'll look a little different, but it should be the same idea. Now you can see here, ignore this here. This is this these are accounts I've already added. Um, but you want to click this button here. So click on accounts and imports first. 
go to send mail from another address click on that and you can just create you can just send it to some other email address in this case I'm just sending it to another one that I have in Hotmail click next step click send verification and Gmail will send a code to your hot Hotmail account in this case for you it'll be your UCI.edu account get the code punch it in here and click verify and when you verify it what will happen is it'll end up here and look like that so I already did that with my UCI.edu address now I'm just going to delete this because I don't want to use that account now if I go to compose mail again type in professor at UCI.edu homework I can click on this drop down menu which you will now have and select your UCI.edu email account so now every time you send your email you have the choice of using your UCI.edu that way people will know it's coming from that address so that's the function of forwarding your email from your UCI email account to your new email account um, and again the choice of selection of your the account you want to use is up to you I prefer using Gmail because there's a lot of good integration in terms of calendars, documents, chat, and in by the end of 2009 there's going to be a new revamped upgrade to email within Gmail and I honestly think it's really important that you use this system. So again it's up to you and um, I hope this tutorial was really helpful and good luck. And if you have any questions please email me, not at that, uh, not at this address, um, I would recommend my normal address at mesakid at gmail.com. Okay.